Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today we need to look at a couple of bits of news, including the very first official reveal from Crown Zenith. Now, I say first official reveal, I did mention this to the lovely Primal Lugia, and they did tell me, and this is a fair point, we have technically seen the reveal of the Lucario special art rare from the Elite Trainer Box. And yeah, I suppose, but this is the first time we've been able to see a proper card from the set. And it is worth bearing in mind, it has, I mean, let's just say it, it has confirmed our worst fears. And no, I don't think that's a big exaggeration. Because you see, and you've probably already seen it looking at the picture on the screen, we've got the lovely knitted or crocheted Altaria. I have no idea how to dif tell the difference between if something's knitted or crocheted like this. I, I don't understand. But you can already see it's got a yellow border. And here is the card, the Japanese scan of the card, where it has a silver border. And I know this is not a new thing. And it's something I've talked about before. And it's something I will almost certainly talk about again. But come on, ladies and gentlemen. Can anyone out there honestly tell me that they think these cards look better with the big garish yellow border than the far more subtle lovely silver border or grey border or whatever it actually is? I refuse to believe that, ladies and gentlemen. I flatly refuse to believe that. So yeah, it does have a yellow border. And the yellow border honestly makes me a little bit sad. But this has started the official reveal cycle, so to speak, of Crown Zenith. And this is a pretty big deal. Because we know that a lot of Crown Zenith is going to be very similar to a lot of V-Star Universe. And I did a video a little while ago where I basically explained to you what the difference between V-Star Universe and Crown Zenith is going to be. Crown Zenith is very much a catch-up set where we are getting all of those lovely cards that Japan have had and we haven't. Whereas V-Star Universe is far more of a reprint set, where they are reprinting a whole bunch of super crazy playable cards. So, you know, things like Mew V Max is just getting a reprint in V-Star Universe. Things like Arceus is just getting a reprint in V-Star Universe. Radiant Greninja. You know, these really good playable cards... And when you're opening packs of Eastside Universe, you're just going to constantly be opening these really good cards that are, you know, central to these big metagame exciting decks. So this is all very, very exciting. But then we've also got the art rares and the special art rares. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them here. I, I did a big video about this the other day where I showed you all of them. But we know we've got Pokemon V, V Star and V Max. And right here, I have got to show you the Zero Aura because it's just absolutely adorable and we know there are lovely supporter cards coming along like I mean Cynthia's Ambition is one that I like very much indeed and let's not forget we had confirmation of those gold cards that are drawn by Akira Igawa like the Arceus and oh my word this set is looking good and in terms of all of these art rares special art rares etc it should be pretty simple we should just be getting the same ones from V-Star Universe outside of ones that are used as promos. So we know the Charizard isn't coming, because, and there's a couple of them actually, because they were in the Ultra Premium Collection for Charizard. So we know that they're not going to be in the set, even though they were for Japan. We know, obviously, like I already told you, about the Lucario coming in the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box. And we could also take a look at those lovely tins featuring the Galarian birds, which we know, you know, those cards are being taken out of the set to be used as promos. All of the rest of them we're just going to be getting as normal in the set. But we need confirmation of exactly which missing cards are going to be in the set and which aren't. So this is really the start of that reveal, and that is awesome. Sure, today it's, it's an Altaria that was an art rare in the set, so... We kind of knew with 99.9% .9 certainty was going to be here. But there's a lot more we need to see from Crown Zenith. A lot more cars that need to be confirmed. And I, for one, am very excited about it. You know, we know we're going to be getting those lovely autograph cards. We know that we're going to be getting Kyoga V, the gym promo. We know we're going to be getting the Korokoro Eevee V. 
as an example. But there are still plenty of cars that we are waiting for that confirmation of, and I, for one, am very, very excited. But while we wait, I would like to make you all a little bit jealous. Because you see, ladies and gentlemen, there's another one of those tournaments that's gone and happened over in an Asian territory where we've got, um, yeah, just a lot of stuff that is just way cooler than what we've got. And that is making me very, very, very sad indeed. Not that sad, but a little bit sad because we need to start off with this map. Over in Taiwan, they are having Pokemon Taiwan League Regionals. And this is the play mat that they are giving out. I mean, firstly, they've just got Charizard, Rayquaza, and Pikachu. They have gone hard. Like, there's no mucking about. The person designing this mat, there is no mucking about. They've basically gone for a really cool image of Charizard, Rayquaza, and Pikachu. That is a throwing down the gauntlet play mat if I've ever seen one. Plus all the energy symbols, including Fairy, interestingly enough. Although it will be hidden under your prize cards. But still, fairy's done. And Taiwan are rotating like we are. Fairy's done. We don't need the fairy energy symbol on there. But I kind of love that they put it on there. I mean, to, to put that into, you know, a bit of a comparison, a bit of context. Remember at the moment, you know, Jay Burden showed us the other day that we've got this Red Drago mat. This was given out at Stuttgart Regionals. And it's awesome. I love these playmats, incidentally. They are, they're basically just a booster pack artwork, but stretched out into a playmat. But come on, ladies and gentlemen, can anybody honestly look at this and tell me that they would not rather have the playmat that Taiwan are getting? Now, when we get the Lugia playmat, because you've got to imagine it's coming in some tournament at some point. When we get the Lugia playmat, then we can have a conversation about who's got the call to play, Matt. But right now... <laughs> um, yeah. Things are getting very, very interesting over in Taiwan with this play, Matt. I am loving it. And this is the kind of thing that should be making all of us pretty gosh darn jealous. It is awesome. I want this play, Matt. I'm not going to go to Taiwan and go to regionals to get it. Because also I've got so many play, mats. But as far as playmats go, this is definitely one of the coolest ones we've seen. But that is not the only cool stuff that is happening. Over in Taiwan, they've also gone and confirmed these couple of regional promos. Featuring Hisui and Braviary and Hisui and Typhlosion V. Now, Hisui and Typhlosion V, actually this one should look a little bit familiar. This is the alternate art of the one that came around in, I want to say Astral Radiance. Yeah, it was Astral Radiance. But what's interesting is we've already had this as a tin promo. This isn't a new card. It's not even a new alternate art card. This is literally, it's the alternate art of the one from Astral Radiance, but it's also just the one we got in, in a tin. So jobs are good, in, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this one. It's not new. We're happy. Move on with your lives. Lovely. However, this Hisuian Braviary is one we need. Now, it's not a card we've never seen before. Any eagle-eyed viewers recognize it? It is the Korokoro promo Hisuian Braviary, and I know that because I've got it sitting right next to me on my desk. Yay! Uh, it's a cool-looking card. I like the Korokoro promos, I'll be honest with you. So, it's just that one. It's not a particularly good or playable card or anything silly like that. But, you know... It's there. Yay. Interestingly enough, this is another one of those cards which I do believe is going to be in Crown Zenith. But we are waiting for confirmation that that's going to be the case. Oh, yeah. And remember that Celebration Fanfare card I told you about the other day? Yeah, that one's coming to Hong Kong and Taiwan as well. And actually, this gives me an opportunity to make a correction. Now, I showed you the other day that this is coming out over in Jakarta in Indonesia. Where you can actually go and take a part of that. And I told you that this was a very rare and valuable Japanese card. Now, to be fair, it is still like a $100 card. It is still worth a few quid. But the lovely Antoine Boulet did get in touch with me uh, and correct me, rightly so, um, to say that I was grossly overestimating how hard it was to get in Japan. 
uh, you need to get 30 championship points that you'd get for doing okay at one city league or three local leagues. And about 15,000 players got them. So I was, shall we say, misrepresenting in a video the other day how hard this was to get. I apologize for that. But at least we got a chance to make a correction in this video today. That card is not as rare as I made out. However, it is still a very cool $100 card. And it is being given out in Hong Kong and Taiwan. All you need to do is just register on a website for a Celebrate the Opening music event. Sign up for an official Pokemon Gym event. And then you go and get the card. It's nice and easy. Very cheap, easy to get. No real conditions other than turning up. And that's pretty cool. Hey, are we going to get this card? Probably not. We've never had Celebration Fanfare in the West. Bearing in mind, you know, the one I've had on the screen the whole time is not the only one that's been out there. There was the previous Celebration Fanfare, which never made its way out of Asia. I wouldn't expect this one to either. I would love it if it did, because it's a really cool card with lovely artwork. But if this is a card you're looking for, the Japanese version is out there. And then we've also got the Hong Kong Taiwan version now and we've got the Indonesian version there should be a cheap enough version if you don't care about the language also just one more note 15,000 copies of a card I know that sounds like a lot that's still not a huge amount don't get me wrong it is not as rare as I made out I've, I've admitted that but just to be perfectly clear it is still a card which you know 15,000 sounds like a lot I assure you ladies and gentlemen 15,000 copies of a card is still not not a huge amount, but yeah, it is not as rare as I made out. And for that, I apologize. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the news. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. How hyped are you for Crown Zenith? What cards are you expecting? And how much do you want to take a flight over to these Asian countries at the moment and get all this cool swag? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon, card games, Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel. You can get some bonus podcasts where I answer all of your questions. I just did one of those yesterday, and there's another one coming later on in this week. And you can join the Discord and chat with us, all of that fun stuff. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely... Dark1313, who is a very lovely person and has been a supporter of ours for a little while now. So thank you very much for all the support and for being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.